Hi, Dr. Gundry here. I got so much good feedback on our segment about healthy fall foods that I'm doing it again for winter. Yes, it's true. In some parts of the world, very little is in season this time of the year. But there are some fruits, yes, fruits and vegetables that are actually ripening right now or that you can eat all year long. Let's start with the first fruit on our list, an avocado. Sure, they're available pretty much every month of the year, and they're one of the few fruits where you don't have to worry about what season it is. Why? Because they're all fat, a bit of protein, and lots of fiber. And they're the healthy kind of fat. In fact, eating avocados daily could support healthy weight loss, keep your heart healthy, and even keep your joints comfortable. So important in the winter. You've probably tried them in guacamole. And if you haven't, there's a recipe here on this channel. They're also great in eggs, blended into smoothies, or served on their own with a little salt and pepper. Now, if you're not an avocado fan, I suggest trying them blended into other things first. They add creaminess without changing the flavor. Not sure where to start? Try the ice cream recipe on this channel. Now second, cabbage. It's actually a good time of year for leafy greens and leafy purples for that matter. And cabbage is at its absolute best right now. It's typically harvested in the late fall and early winter. It's super affordable and it's got all the amazing benefits you've come to love from cruciferous vegetables. Things like potentially anti-inflammatory properties, plenty of gut healthy fiber, and tons of vitamin C. Now, you could make coleslaw out of it, using avocado mayo, of course, and you've got a lot more options to try. Try braising cabbage with onions, sauteing it with garlic and apples, or shaving it thin and eating it raw, tossed into a salad. It's also great lightly cooked and tossed with pesto. My wife's friend shaves it into noodles and then mixes it half and half with miracle noodles as her pasta. And seriously, if miracle noodles aren't your thing because of the texture, the cabbage will fix the problem. Now next up, turnips. It's funny, I see these at grocery stores all the time but very few people know what to do with them. Good news, if you're a potato lover, you'll love turnips. They're good mashed, sauteed, or roasted with garlic, and they're way better for your gut than potatoes. For one, they're not a member of the nightshade family, so you don't have to worry about that. They've got tons of dietary fiber and are high in potassium, vitamin A, and health-boosting polyphenols. Now, if you can find a tender baby turnip, you're in for a treat. Just scrub it and roast it, skin and all. And now, I wanna talk about citrus fruit. Oh, wait a minute, Dr. Gundry. Didn't you say give fruit the boot? I did, and I stand by that. But with low sugar fruit, like lemons and limes, you can add a lot of flavor and beneficial polyphenols to a dish with just a little juice or a bit of zest. So these kind of get a pass. And with sugary fruits, like grapefruit, oranges, and tangerines, you do need to hold off, both on the juice and eating the fruit. But feel free to go nuts with the zest. Try adding orange zest to sauteed Swiss chard, or a bit of grapefruit zest and white pith to your guacamole. And this time of year, when citrus is in season, go ahead and have a little, in moderation, as a special treat. In fact, I like a few segments of grapefruit in an arugula salad. Last but not least, chard. This leafy green comes in a few colorful varieties, green, white, red, rainbow. No matter which variety you pick, it's rich in polyphenols and pretty simple to cook. If you're familiar with cooking collard greens or kale, you'll probably be familiar with cooking chard. You can saute it, braise it, or even eat it raw. I especially love Swiss chard with orange zest, hazelnuts, and garlic but it's got a pretty neutral flavor, so the possibilities are endless. The other thing about chard, make sure you eat those stems. Unlike kale, which has stems that are pretty tough, chard stems are crunchy and kind of like celery. They break down easily and add great texture and flavor to a dish. Just remember, it may be winter, but that's no excuse not to eat your veggies and fruits either. In fact, some of the most delicious foods on the planet are in season right now. 
So enjoy, because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video, and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips, because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.